as long as we are uh, using the Claisen adapter, it just occurred to me that uh, this, when you do your uh, Grignard reaction a little bit later in the semester, you will uh, be able to then also use it in a reflux capacity. So I'm just going to uh, take this down, okay, and the and the uh, rest of this like this, and I can use this then as increasing the the path for the uh, the condenser. Now you say what? So what does that do? Well, it creates a longer pathway, and it's uh, effective for condensing with very, very volatile uh, liquids like diethyl ether, for instance. Now notice that I have this thing stoppered here so that anything that volatilizes up here doesn't uh, go out this way. The water is still entering in at the at the bottom and exiting from the top you make sure that the uh, yeah let's start let's start that here doesn't have to go fast okay it's going pretty it's, it's pretty steady now okay so make sure that this is closed right here do not do not put a stopper on here. Don't close this. This is true for any uh, reflux. It's just, it's no good. You don't want a closed system in here, okay? And uh, that's just another use of the Claisen adapter, which you see here. Uh, so you can uh, see how, how uh, versatile this equipment is. Now make sure that when you set this up that you always have this clamped down well. If you don't do that this can tip over but uh, this looks like it's it's pretty it's pretty well settled here. And notice I don't have to use the Keck clamps when gravity is holding this thing all together. It's in the distillation that I have to be very careful that uh, this will not separate from the uh, from the main body of the the round bottom that's over there. Okay, and that's how you can use then the Claisen adapter as a piece of equipment for uh, the reflux.